Hello, hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Replo landing page builder tutorial. Replo is a platform that will allow you to build a landing page for your Shopify store in no time. And it will also be a high converting professional looking landing page. To get started, I'll be leaving a link in the description that you can use to sign up. After you have tapped on that link, you'll be redirected to a page just like this and you can get started for completely free. After signing up, you'll be asked some questions and you can see what best describes you and your team and from there you can select any one of these options. So for example, I'll just select freelancer then tap on next and what's your yearly revenue, you can select any one of these options and then you can continue. So I'll just select solo, what are you looking to do with Replo? And you can select whether you like to build a high converting page using optimized templates. That's what we are planning to do. Then we'll tap on next. What is your experience level with no code page builders? And I'm going to select I have some experience. Then we'll tap on next. What best describes your industry? And you can select whichever one of these options. So let's say for example, I were to select pets, then tap on next. After you have done that, you can see the top pet templates right here. You could select any one of these options or you could choose to start with a blank page. Normally, I would recommend that you start with a template as that makes it easier. All you'll need to do is drag and replace, replace the current images or text that is there with your information. So I'm going to select a template and tap on Let's Build. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to the editor page. Now, once on the editor page, what I want you to do next, so you can see how it looks at the moment, all you'll need to do is tap on the section that you would like to start editing. After you have tapped on the section, from there you can go over to the right hand menu option, and there you'll see more information that you can start edit. So for example, you can change the text color by simply selecting it. So if we were to select this text box right here, and go over to the right hand menu option you can see the text right here that you could replace and you can also tap on the header right here and you could replace that text also and if it is a case that you would like to remove the image you can do that too after selecting the image all you'll need to do now you could go over to the left hand menu option and from there you could select for example hero image after selecting hero image, you can see the image right here. If we were to tap on the right hand option where you see image, then you could tap on change image and you could change it to whatever you want. And by the way, to change the button, you could select the button text, then go over to the right hand menu option. And from there, you're going to see the button option right there. And that's how you'll be able to edit all of it going right down. You can tap on the different images. Then from there, you could tap on the settings right here. Then tap on design in the top right hand corner. And you're going to see image and you could replace the image. Then you could add a clickable link right here. And when it comes on to adding your Shopify store, you can also do that. So you can integrate it quickly into Shopify. And to do that, all you will need to do is go over to the top left hand corner of the navigation bar and you're going to tap on projects setting. So you'll tap on the three dashes. Then you're going to tap on integration. And from here, you can see choose Shopify store and you're going to tap on add a new Shopify store and you're going to tap on add Shopify integration. After you have done that, it is going to automatically sign into your Shopify account and you're going to tap on install. Then once you have selected install, you'll be redirected to this page and you're going to tap on install once more. After you have installed it, you're just going to give it a few seconds and you'll be redirected once more to the Replo dashboard. So you can see that it has been installed right there. So our Shopify page is now connected. Now all you'll need to do is go back to the editor. Now it is requiring our store password. To find that, all you'll need to do is go into Shopify. Once on your admin page, you're going to select online store from the left hand menu option. Then you're going to select preferences. 
after selecting preferences you can scroll down and you can see the password right there so you can simply copy the password then go back into Replo and you'll paste the password right there and you're going to tap on submit password after you have submitted the password you will be able to continue editing Replo so you can go back to editing so for example we can tap on this section right here which is the section with the products and from there you can continue editing the different products so you can tap on the different images and you can change them from the right hand column and you can also put in a clickable link if you want and you can continue editing all of these by uploading the different pictures and you can change the button text if you want and you can also choose to make it clickable by going over to the right hand menu option right there and from there you could tap on set link and you could make it clickable and that's how you'll be able to set up your Replo page. And if it is a case that you would like to add a component that you don't see, so for example, let's say you would like to add an element, all you'll need to do is go over to the top left-hand corner and you're going to tap on components. After selecting components, from there you could tap on pages. And if it is a case you'd like to add a page, you can see the different page templates that you can choose from. Or you can choose to add sections so you could tap on sections and you could add any one of these sections to your page as you can see right there and also you can see the basic components are elements so whether you like to add text layout or you would like to add a product you can do that so you can see the different product templates that you can choose from so you can add collections automatically by simply dragging and placing it you can also add the buy now or add the cart button as you can see right there. So there are numerous options you can select from. You can also add in, you can also add product reviews and so on from for example Judge Me or Yotpo as you can see right there. And once you're finished, all you'll need to do now once you're on the paid plan because with Replo, unfortunately, you're only able to create drafts on their free plan. To publish it you'll need to go onto their paid plan as you can see right here and their paid plan starts off at $99 per month and with their paid plan you'll be able to publish 10 pages and you can add 10 publish section as you can see right there but if you were to go up to 249 you'll be able to publish 30 pages so it is up to you but I would definitely recommend Replo if you are looking to create a professional looking Shopify store. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and